Olga Teresa Tignon Ortiz is a Puerto Rican recording artist. Over the course of her career, she has earned two Grammy Awards, three Latin Grammy Awards, and 29 Premio Lo Nuestro Awards. Tignon is the youngest of four children born to Jose Tignon and Carmen Gloria Ortiz in the Sanchez district of San Juan, Puerto Rico. She was raised in Levitown, located in the municipality of Toa Baja, Puerto Rico, where she received her primary and secondary education. At the early age of 16 years old, Olga Tignon participated in a television talent show called Buscando Estrella singing one of her own compositions. She was highly rated by the judges. Her singing career took off when she joined a group called Las Nenas de Ringo y Josie in the 1980s. Soon a very popular group in Puerto Rico called Chantel noticed her mezzo-soprano voice and recruited her. They saw in her what they needed for their merengue style of music. When Tignon was a member of Chantel, they scored their biggest hit, On Que Tu No Quieras. The song was popular in Latin America. In 1992, Tignon signed a contract with the We Latina record label to record a solo album. Her first recorded album was titled Sola. Among the songs in the album were, Mi Cambio Por Ella, and Quiero Estar Contigo. In 1993, she recorded her second album for We Latina, Mujer de Fuego. Tignon also debuted as a composer with the song, Presencia Tu Amor. That year, Tignon received three Lo Nuestro Awards nominations in the Tropical Slash Salsa Field, Album of the Year, Female Artist and New Artist. In 1994, Tignon earned her first double platinum record and in 1995, she earned three more platinum records with her album, Sante El Amor. This album also included another of her compositions, Unicornio, which was written to the rhythm of salsa and also included the unforgettable merengue song, Es Mandaroso. Tignon had gained fame and recognition throughout Latin America. Tignon recorded a Tex-Mex CD with Mexican singer Marco Antonio Solis, Muevos Senderos. She was now being heard internationally, and with that recording she became the first Puerto Rican musician to be certified by the RIA to sell over half a million records. The lead single, The Ballad Bastilla, topped the U.S. Billboard Top Latin tracks for several weeks and became Tignon's first no. 1. For the album Tignon earned three Lo Nuestro Awards nominations for Pop Album of the Year, Pop Song of the Year and Pop Singer of the Year. In 1997 Tignon debuted as an actress in the Puerto Rican version of the popular production of Jesus Christ Superstar, produced by Rafo Muniz. She played the part of Mary Magdalene. This version had a tropical feel to it and included some of Tignon's songs. In 1998, Tignon married Juan Gonzalez a Puerto Rican Major League Baseball star. They had a daughter, Gabriela Marie, but divorced in 1999. In 2000 Tignon, now known as the Woman of Fire or Mujer de Fuego by her fans, recorded her first concert, titled, Olga Viva, Viva Olga and the House of Blues in Orlando, Florida. This production was named by the National Foundation of Popular Culture as one of the year's top 20 productions. The record went platinum and Tignon earned her first Grammy Award. In August 2000, Tignon sold out 12 shows in the Antonio Paoli Hall at the Luis A. Fair Center of the Fine Arts in San Juan. Later that month she debuted in the Bass Performance Hall in Fort Worth, Texas. Her performances received rave reviews in the Fort Worth Star-Telegram and the Dallas Morning News. At the end of 2000, Tignon presented her musical spectacular at Panama's Ana Yancey Theater and toured the southeastern United States with Mexican singer Alejandro Fernandez. In 2001 Tignon recorded a CD titled, Yo Por Ti, which won both American and Latin Grammys. The first single, Como Alvidar top the U.S. Billboard top Latin tracks. The CD became a bestseller in Puerto Rico, Latin America, and among the Hispanic population in the United States. In 2002 Tignon toured many countries, including Venezuela, Panama and the United States. That year she became the first merengue artist to successfully score a chart topper in the Middle East when her partnership with Egyptian music singer Hakim yielded the highly successful Arabian hit, Aya Albi. In 2003, Tignon toured Europe and made a total of 10 recordings for We Latina. In 2003 she released Sabre Vivir and won her fourth Grammy. She also married Billy Denizard, with whom she had two sons, Indiana Noah and Ian Nahr. As part of an international tour called Evolution Tour 2008, Tignon traveled to Italy where she made a presentation at the Festival Latinoamericano on July 5, 2008. In 2005, Tignon released her hit album, Una Nueva Mujer? 
which won Best Contemporary Tropical Album at the 2006 Latin Grammys. In support of Latin American immigrants in the U.S., in 2006 Tignon recorded, Nuestro Emo in collaboration with Pitbull, Carlos Ponce, and Wyclef Jean. On May 2, 2010, Tignon first performed in Iquitos a concert where she presented her classic songs. The concert was part of her tour, which started in Peru. On February 22, 2007 Tignon won three awards at the 19th edition of Premio Lo Nuestro. During the 2006 show, she won in the categories, Album of the Year, Female Artist and Song of the Year. She holds the record as the artist who has won the most Premio Lo Nuestro awards, with a total of 29. In June 2009, Tignon released a new hit single called Amor Entre Trace which is the theme song for the new soap opera in Venezuela called La Vida en Terra. That month. We Latina released 25 Exitos de Fuego Volume 1 and Volume 2. Each CD has a set of greatest hits through her entire career of merengue and Latin pop. In September 2009 participated next to Juanes and other internationally acclaimed artists, in Concerto por La Paz at Plaza de la Revolución in La Habana, Cuba. In 2011 the first of three Tanyon albums was released on the Mia Musa label, Ni Una Lagrima Mas. In 2013 Yuna Mujer was released, and in 2017 Olga Tanyon Y Punto. After her participation in the concert for Peace in Havana, in 2013, Tanyon, a resident and voter of the state of Florida, increased her social activism profile by announcing on Univision TV network that she would participate in the April-March 10th in Washington. D.C. supporting immigration reform and a path to citizenship and the right to vote, as well as announcing her support for the admission of her native Puerto Rico as the 51st state of the nation. Thanks for watching.